the NBA season is only two weeks old here on ESPN. The Bucks come in with a defense that tends to give up a lot of points. That has to be a concern, especially in those close fourth quarter games. They should find a tough matchup versus the Nets who come in expecting to go out and exert their dominance on the defensive end. To a man, everybody on the roster takes real pride in helping each other out. And with that, let's go to Bob Steele and Rod West who are standing by in Milwaukee. Welcome. It's time for some basketball here at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee. I'm Bob Steele, and I'm here with my partner, Rod West. Let's take a quick look at the starters. Any thoughts, Rod? Sam Cassell is a 20-point-plus scorer game, Bob, so the defense better not forget to keep an eye on it. We'll see how things pan out, Rod. Let's get ready for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention courtside for the player introductions. First for the New Jersey Nets. At center, Dikembe Mutombo. At forward, Kenya Martin. Also at forward, Richard Jefferson. At guard, Kerry Kittles. Also at guard, Jason Kidd. the opening tip. Martin is looking for the ball. Push, push back. They work it in. They push it inside. Passes. Martin takes the turnaround. Jay drains the first bucket of the game. Mason inbounds the ball. The Bucks are just behind here. Two to zero. Mason wants it down low. Mason fires from 14. It's the foul, but it goes in. Ball, ball, ball. Inside. Martin fades away inside. Pickles the twine. Just over four minutes here in the first quarter. Cassell passes the ball. It's stolen. Passes it. I got him. Martin with the rock. You see, you see. Seven on the shot clock. Releases. Right here it is one more time. Jumps up. Doesn't get the finger roll. Cell had the straight jacket clamped on him out there. Nice defensive stop. Nice laying off the glass by Kidd. Kid. Thomas with the inbound. Go, go, go. Passes it. Gets cut off by Kittles. Uses the crossover. 
Seven seconds to shoot. The Nets have the ball. They're shooting 100% from the floor. Kidd makes the pass. The steal. Nice steal by the D. Let him try and work that crossover move, and then you make sure you're right there to take the ball. Great play. Passes. Pin down, pin down. Allen shoots from 13 feet out. Kisses it off the glass. I got it. Just over two minutes here in the first quarter. Into the low post. There's the steal. The Bucks are at the controls. They're three out of their last four from the floor. Passes it. Thomas shoots. Doesn't get it all the way there. Thomas must have realized that he had an average defender on him and put up that shot. The problem is, is that he's just an average shooter. Passes. I got him. Inside, inside. In low, in the paint. Passes it. Seven on the shot clock. The shot in the left block is missed by Matumbo. Rebounded by Mason. Nice rebound by the 13-year man out of Tennessee State. The alley-oop was thrown in by Thomas. Martin throws it in. Pick him up. Bounce pass. Yo, step up. Get up. Jefferson passes. Goes for the crossover. Seven seconds to shoot. Couldn't Please stop the run there and a miss by Kidd. On, pass caught by Cassell. Kidd misses it, but you had a pretty even matchup out there. That could have gone either way. Ball, ball, 58 ball. seconds here in the first quarter. Inside, I so, I so. fires from the post. Gets the time bounce off the back rim. Man, he is just in his element inside. What a player. The Nets, with the score of this trip down, can tie it up. Launches from beyond the arc. Gets the front rim. Kid was left in the lurch after that fourth pick. His teammates have to help him out a little better than that. The Bucks would love to extend their lead this trip down. Passes. Tries the spin move. Puts it up. Went in for the layup, but it's off the mark by Cassell. Cassell has a good spin move, so I don't think that's what threw him off. Kid heads up court. He's two out of his last four from the floor. Pass low post. Takes a quick shot. Can't stop the run. Cassell hurls it from about three-quarter court. Bounces off the left rim and out. Have the lead after one period, Rod. What's the key stat as far as you're concerned? Field goal percentage, Bob. Basketball can be a pretty simple game. Shoot better than the other team, and you've always got an excellent chance of winning any matchup. Thomas inbounds the ball. Ball, ball, ball. Cassell passes it. Cassell has it. Come down low. Switch, switch. Double, double. Seven on the shot clock. Stand, stand. It's rejected. Matumbo swatted that one away, and it's his first block of the game. The Nets work it up court. They're shooting 50% from the floor. Passes it. Kittles puts it up from a step inside the line. Doesn't tie it up. Nice call by the ref. Definite contact on the shot. He gets the first of two. Yanks it down inside. Get him. Cassell has it. He's shooting 25% from the floor. Johnson dishes it off. Shoots. Can't take the lead. Thomas doesn't have a flashy inside game, so he has to earn everything the hard way. Kid brings it up. He's two of four from the floor. Passes. Seven seconds to shoot. The J was missed by Kittles. The defensive rebound by Johnson. Terry Kittles look to be in good position, but those mid-range jumpers can be tougher than they look sometimes. The Bucks have the rock. They're two out of their last six from the floor. Pick them up. 
against Vertical. Offensive foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the Bucks. Martin ball, with ball, the inbound. Pick coming. Fox power. Gain some altitude. It's blocked. You've got to love the projection right there. That's how you play the game. Makes this old coach proud. Pass to the paint. Allen takes the turn around Jay. Gets it to fall. He's money from there. Kidd has the ball. He's two out of his last four from the floor. Kidd passes the ball. Passes it. Seven on the shot clock. Puts it up inside. Puts too much on it. Kid is a proud warrior inside, so he has to be a little humble when he holds an easy one like that. The Bucks can extend their lead this trip down. They'd love to do that. Allen goes with the fadeaway. Matumbo throws it in. The Nets head into the front court. They're shooting 33% from the floor. Passes. High Passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. Two C, two C. That loads from about 20 feet out. Good. Answers right back. I got him. Cassell is at the controls. He's shooting 25% from the floor. Top of the key. Seven on the shot clock. Cassell has the ball. Cassell puts it up. Gets right iron. No good. Cassell has a first-rate mid-range game. Even though he missed that one, he has to get that shot. Martin. Incredible play. Rod, break it down on the replay. I got it. The Bucks have it. They're two out of their last six from the floor. Through post. Yo, now in the paint. Mason leaves the ground. It's blocked. He's That's smart man. basketball. The double team is especially effective under the net because it really limits where you can go. The seven-footer was missed by Martin. So far, this bout is just a little bit too close to call. The defense prevailed this time, but I bet he comes back twice as hard next time. Cassell makes the pass. Mason fires from the right block. Not this time. The Nets, with a basket this trip down, can take ball, their ball, first ball. lead in a long time. Kid oh, oh. wants the ball. Going inside. They're inside. Kid shoots from the paint, gets fouled, he'll shoot a pair. What body control to still get the shot off, and he almost paid off with it, too. He times it up. The combo the will leave the floor. Substitution for the Nets. Prisbilla inbounds the ball. 36 seconds here in the second quarter. Ball, ball, ball. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Passes. 101, 101. Fox power. Go Uses inside. the crossover. Passes it. That's a great job to close after the crossover and get a hand on the orange. Quick hands right there, Bob. Caught by Harris. Shoots from 12. Bounces it off the short side and in. Kenya Martin. Cassell has the rock. He's one out of his last five from the floor. Thomas unloads from deep, deep three-point range. Can't drop the lightly contested shot. The clock runs out, and we're heading to the half. The score, 17 to 14. It's time to relax, fans, while Clark gives us a recap of all the action in the first half. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. Let's review what went on in the first two quarters. The Nets have played to a stalemate here in the first half. The statistics are pretty even across the board, and neither team has been able to get too far up on the other in the first two quarters. Should make for a great second half. The Kenby Mutombo in the first half has a total of one point and two steals. He's hot so far, and he's our Sega Sports hot at the half player. That's our halftime report. Make sure to tune in to the ESPN Post Game Show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send it back to Bob and Rod. Substitution for the bus. Mason with the inbound.
Cassell passes. Mason releases from the strike. Gets the time bounce off the back rim. The Nets bring it up. They're shooting 46% from the floor. Kittles now has it. They work it in. Kicks it out. Lobbed. They push it inside. Kicks it outside. Richard Jefferson takes the turnaround. Jay gets back iron and out. The D was a little, eh, let's call it shaky. But that was a solid defensive play and an effective one, too. Watch that low. Bounce pass in low. Seven on the shot clock. Count that last jumper by Mason. Mason. Just under four minutes here in the third quarter. Passes it. Grab by Jefferson. Seven seconds to shoot. Jefferson launches from beyond the arc. Gets the go ahead bucket. Johnson throws it in. The Bucks are at the controls. There's zero on their last two from the arc. Cassell passes it. Spins to the hoop. Puts up the shot. The Nets work it up court. They're three out of their last six from the floor. Stolen. Just under three minutes here in the third quarter. You've got to put the club on the ball when this guy's nearby. He'll snatch it before you know it. Jumper was buried by Allen. The Nets have a big opportunity and can tie it up here. Leaps up. Doesn't get it all the way there. Fight for position underneath. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. He gets the first of two. Harris comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Mason inbounds the ball. Cassell heads up court. He's shooting 20% from the floor. Bounce pass. Now by Allen. Allen fires. Forget about it. Ray Allen was playing the percentages there. He generally makes that shot, but not that possession. Kid has it. He's three of six from the floor. Martin had his pass go out of bounds, and they give the ball up. Thomas brings it up. He's one out of his last four from the floor. Passes. In the paint. Inside. Johnson springs up. It's blocked. That's an impossible block, Bob. But hey, he did it anyway, and that's all that counts. He had horrible position, but somehow managed to reach over, get the block, and not commit the foul. Good job. They're inside. Harris with the rock. They work it in. They push it inside. Yeah. Seven on the shot clock. Harris dishes it off. Kid launches from beyond the arc. Hands it and gets his 11th point of the game. Johnson with the inbound. The Bucks have the rock. They're shooting 47% from the floor. Passes it. Cassell elevates, watches the lay-in. Kidd has the ball. He's shooting 50% from the arc. Kidd picks up his fifth point of the quarter. He's got 13 in the game. 58 seconds here in the third quarter. Passes. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't stop the run. Thomas isn't even going to dwell on that last shot. He knows he should have made it, so he'll wait to redeem himself when the next open three comes around. Kid passes the ball. Gets stopped by Allen. Gets stolen. You just saw a really smart play on defense, Bobby. You watch for that crossover dribble, and then you get in there for the steal. That is textbook basketball. 
in low. Gets airborne. It's the sixth point of the period. And the total of eight so far. Mason is fearless, Bob. He knew he was going to get banged. He knew he might not get the call. He did not care. That's what it takes to go inside and finish strong in the NBA. Kidd is at the controls. He's one out of his last two from the arc. Inside pass. He takes a quick shot. Gets back iron and out. Cassell hurls it from about three-quarter court. Can't get the buzzer beater. We're at the end of three with the score 27 to 24. The Bucks still couldn't get the lead and enter the fourth trailing single digits. What do you think has been the difference so far statistically, Rod? Three-point shooting, Bob. When you're shooting this poorly from the outside, you need to abandon the outside shot and try to get something easier. High percentage shots will always help. Martin throws it in. Watches the lay-in. Come on, defense. Come down low. The Bucks head into the front court. They haven't hit a shot from the arc. Thomas launches from beyond the arc. Doesn't get the tough shot. Thomas had everything going his way, but that wide open three wouldn't fall for him. Out on the wing. In the paint. Seven seconds to shoot. Inside. The chain was off the mark by Matumbo. Mason corrals the defensive board. The Bucks have it. They're zero out of their last five from the arc. Passes it. Goes with the crossover. Cassell uses the leader inside. Gets the far iron, but it goes in. Matumbo inbounds the ball. Kid works it up court. He has four points from the paint. Kid makes the pass. They're inside. Martin takes the wide open shot. Can't answer back. Martin had no one near him, and he still blew that shot inside. This is the NBA, not the NBDL. Cassell has it. Rises up. Can't get the bucket, but he gets the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Tell you what, can't argue with that. Obvious foul. He can't get the first. Johnson the will box. come off the floor. Kid has the rock. He's shooting 55% from the floor. Passes. There's the steal. Mason comes away with his third pickpocket tonight. Cassell heads up court. He's two of eight from the floor. I saw, I saw. Allen passes. Four, Uses a crossover. Puts up the shot. Yanks it down Finish. inside. Finish. Sam Cassell has an amazing crossover. But if you can't score after making that move, then it doesn't matter. Martin knocks it in and he's got a dozen. Mason with the inbound. The Bucks can tie it up with a basket this trip down. Passes it. Seven on the shot clock. Tries the spin move. Knocked off court and gathered by Matumbo. You know, more of those kind of shots are going to get by him more than he'd like. But this time, he gets his hand in there for the perfect rejection. Lobbed it. They work it in. They push it inside. Kid passes it. Launches from beyond the arc. The defensive rebound by Chris Billa. Kid comes away empty, but he was playing pretty well on that. I'm not surprised he missed it. Cassell has it. He hasn't hit a shot from the arc. They tie this one up on the bucket by Thomas. Kid brings it up. He's one out of his last two from the arc. Passes. Pulls the trigger from the high post. Connects off the front rim. Chris Billa throws it in. The Bucks bring it up. They haven't hit a shot from the arc. 
Wayne Glass on the lay-in, but it's missed by Allen. Received by Kidd. Passes it. Gets cut off by Cassell. Seven seconds to shoot. Mutombo dishes it off. Amazing play, Rob. Let's check it out on the replay. The Bucks have the ball. They're zero out of their last five from the arc. Allen takes the basket and gets a trip to the line for one more. He completes the three-point play. Johnson looks fresh coming back on the floor. Harris still head to the bench. Matombo inbounds the ball. 56 seconds here in the game. Bounce pass. Dikembe Matombo releases from close range. Kisses it off the right rim, then in. The D was there, but it really wasn't strong enough to be a factor, even against a mediocre inside man. The Bucks are at the control. They're two out of their last six on the floor. The Nets will take a timeout here. They can go two for one here if they want, Bob. Let's see how they manage the clock. Kittle has the ball. Pin down, pin down. Passes. Double down. Down. Martin fades away inside. Passes off the left rim and out. If you're in the NBA, you make that shot 99.9% .9 of the time. And we just saw that 0.1% that you never see. Mason with the inbound. Got him. Cassell passes the ball. Releases from 15. Puts too much on it. That's not the job we wanted. Play smart. The Nets will take their very last time out. He's shooting 20% from the floor. Kid is at the controls. He has 11 points from the floor. Passes it. Launches from beyond the arc. Gets the game winner up, but unfortunately not in. Tough way to lose this one. That's the end of the ball game. Your final score, 36 to 35. Game's over, and that's it for us. Be sure to tune into Sports Center to catch the latest news, scores, and highlights. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Thanks for joining us here at the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The Bucks come away with a one-point squeaker over the Nets. They now move to two and two on the year. The Bucks executed in all phases of their game tonight and earned this victory. Statistically, I don't think either team dominated each other, but in games like this, it's intensity, leadership, and aggressiveness that matter. The Kimby Mutombo ended up with a total of three points and 13 rebounds. He's our ESPN player of the game. Terrific performance. Well, that will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you next game.